I, I wanted the building because it was well, two things. I wanted something I could build myself and I wanted something that was going to be maintenance free once we built it, you know, strong and maintenance free. We owned a different property years ago and I wanted to build a small steel building garage type setup to store some quads and yard implements and things like that. So I reached out to VersaTube and you know they helped me design a small building and we built that one and we're thrilled with it. So when we bought this property and wanted a much larger garage, it was natural for us to reach back out to VersaTube. I ended up working with a salesman and I believe I, I did everything on the phone that time. It was a standard size, um, but the good thing is he helped guide me through getting the correct size of the walls because I hadn't accounted for the height of a garage door. So working with sales was a big help for me. Otherwise, I would have gotten myself into quite a pickle. Very different from the first process. So I did the majority of the work actually on the web. We designed the building using the, the custom design tool, which is extremely cool, by the way. Um, before we even finished the order, I could step inside the building. You know, I could move around inside the building and see where the windows were. I could make changes and we did the entire thing online and then I began working with uh, a salesperson uh, to help guide me and make sure that I hadn't made any mistakes. So I, I got a, a stamp set of approved plans from a, an engineer you know, that was approved in Arizona. So taking it to the county, going through the permit process was just a slam dunk. It was just a rubber stamp at that point. Uh, it worked out very well, very well. It came out exactly what we expected, exactly what we expected. We went with like a, I guess you would call it like a forest green with brown trim. The only contract help we had for this particular building was somebody to come in and do the concrete work because I didn't have the tools and expertise to do that properly. But the building itself, my wife and I built the majority of it, just the two of us, without fighting. Uh, which was which is great and then for some of the the heavier parts you know raising the trusses or you know the roof panels you know my you know we had you know friends and family in the neighborhood just swing over and, and help us okay. super easy super easy the coolest part of this whole building was that all of the parts that that were supposed to be with the order came with the order and I was just hoping that nothing was going to be wrong with the order and everything was in everything was there there was i didn't have to call anybody i didn't have to reach out to anybody the directions are if you take your time they're very easy to follow and it's just one step after another yeah i have a neighbor who uh, you know just down the street here who has multiple tractors and things like that so he's going to build a much larger building to store his heavy equipment and I'm looking forward to it because I get a I get to help build you know I get to help pay him back for the work he did for me, and it's actually fun you know to me to build one of these buildings. It's like a giant puzzle that comes out super awesome. I'm big on maintenance and making sure if I build something I'm going to overbuild it, and knowing that it's very windy and we have a lot of snow here in northern Arizona, I wanted to make sure that the building wasn't going to flex. And once we built it, it's there's no maintenance for the rest of its life. <laughs>